Special G7 Squadron was honored to share the same RAF station that withstood relentless attacks day after day during what is now known as the Battle of Britain. Tonight, we host our own special tribute to all of the veterans, but specifically the few who flew from Biggin Hill and all other RAF stations. I have the pleasure of welcoming our guest of honor, Group Captain Jay Jones, MARAF. By way of introduction, I would just like to take a few minutes to give you some information regarding Group Captain Jones. He leads the plans and infrastructure team responsible within the Air Command capability area for the RAF facing strategy and infrastructure requirements for the Air Command. Group Captain Jones has spent many years in the RAF, but more recently he spent two years in Canada on exchange with directing staff from the Can Canadian Armed Forces College. Group Captain Jones is married to Adet, a scientist and a teacher. They live in quarters at High Wycombe, but the home is in Yorkshire. They have two sons, Alexander, who's a journalist in Toronto, and Cameron, who's an undergraduate of Stirling University. Group Captain Jones is a keen sportsman, so if you happen to support Liverpool FC, Newcastle's Dawkins rugby team, or the Toronto Maple Leaf ice hockey team, then the group captain is your man. We would like to thank you, sir, for taking the time to support this event at 257 Air Training Hall. The Air Cadet Organisation is one of the foremost youth organisations in the country, with some 45,000 cadets across the UK. 2427 is one of the strongest squadrons in the country, with 110 cadets in total, and still growing. In our 50th anniversary, the squadron is doing as well as it ever has, and we look forward to continuing for at least another 50 years. Tonight, and for the past 12 years or so, the Yeasley and West Brayton band are playing for us, and if I may say so, the standard of playing is, as always, of the highest standard. We would like to thank you for coming and supporting this event. After the parade march is passed, we would like to invite you to the Potty Training Centre, where a buffet has been laid on for you. After this, at 20 hundred hours, the Yeasley and West Brayton band will be playing for us in a time-honoured tradition in the RAF Memorial Chapel. We are all looking forward to this as they have always been brilliant. We hope that you enjoy the remainder of the evening. After the march pass, the 2427 marching band will come and play for a few teams to lead you off to the buffet. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I have the dubious honour of following that very eloquent uh, speech. Um, Adair and I are absolutely delighted to be back at Biggin Hill. Uh, we have seven uh, very happy he uh, years here. And I don't know how many of the cadets out here will remember Mrs. Gurens uh, from Biggin Hill Junior School. Um, maybe some of you do. Um, we are in, in absolutely honoured and delighted to be here. Uh, and it falls to me, really, um, to follow the cadet one up to this wonderful welcome and that absolutely uh, fantastic flying display and it's a real privilege to, to come and hear the Merlin fly over Biggin Hill and uh, begin the bump again. What is the Battle of Britain about? Well you heard a bit about my biography and, and, and you very eloquently said you know I've been in the Air Force a long time that means you're old um, <laughs> uh, and it's actually I'm approaching uh, 32 years uh, of service uh, and throughout the whole of my service the Battle of Britain has been absolutely iconic with what the, R the RAF is about. Uh, it was ingrained in me uh, as a young man, as a child. Uh, from the year 1969, when that wonderful film, The Battle of Britain, came out. Although when I was doing a bit of research for tonight, I couldn't help but realise that when that film came out, it was actually panned by the critics, which uh, it sort of surprised me. <coughs> anyway, so what was The Battle of Britain about? Well, um, anyone in the RAF, and I'm sure all the cadets behind me, uh, were only too well. But um, it was basically about the Luftwaffe trying to get air superiority over the south of England. So Hitler could launch the invasion of uh, the United Kingdom. Um, over 1,700 uh, German aircraft lost in the Battle of Britain. And for those that can't remember, uh, the battle actually lasted from July through to October. For the RAF, though, I mean, I spent most of my uh, most of my career in and out of a, what was 11 Group, and 11 Group and 12 Group were, of course, the, uh, the Royal Air Force groups that took part in the battle. And some of the figures, um, and I was just doing a bit of background uh, to remind myself, absolutely staggering every time I look at these figures. The RAF lost 915 aircraft. 
Now, the Army Air Force today hasn't got anywhere near that number of aircraft. 915 lost on the ground and in the air. But the human cost, like any conflict, uh, and I came back from Afghanistan in 2011, and I'm sure a lot of you will be watching the Invictus Games uh, on the TV. Odette and I were watching it before we came out. You're hugely inspirational to watch that. But the human cost to Battle Britain, that's why we're here commemorating that battle now. Over 500 pilots lost their lives. And those of you that are big in Hill Residence, I, I don't need to remind you, but it, I was reminded myself that 39 people died, lost their lives here at Biggin Hill in one of the 12 attacks that uh, this took, part, uh, took place against this base. It's staggering as well when you think of all these impressive young men and women behind me to think that the average age, sorry, and, and in front of me, uh, the average age of a pilot in the Battle of Britain uh, was 20. Um, I mean, that was really young, even, now, even compared to nowadays, that was exceptionally young. Um, I was a historian when I first joined the RAF. I served on 85 Squadron, which, uh, although it didn't serve here at Biggin Hill, was quite an illustrious fighter squadron, uh, commanded by uh, the late, great uh, Peter Townsend, uh, who some people remember uh, was Princess Margaret's fiancé at one stage, but a great wartime leader. There was a guy called Sandy Lane. He was a squadron leader uh, of 23, and that's going some. Uh, I work with a friend at uh, High Wycombe now, who was, uh, who was a squadron leader at 29, and we think he's Superman. Uh, but he, the, you know, the necessity, so many, we lost so many pilots in the Battle of Britain as squad leaders of 23. And I think, and Alan might know this better than me, Alan Cooper might know this, um, the youngest group captain, there are only four stripes I'm, you know, I'm slightly older, but there was a guy in, uh, in the RAF in the 40s who was 24. Um, and although it's not fighter command, some of you will remember Guy Gibson, again, he was a wing commander at 24. Absolutely staggering uh, when you think back to these people. But what about Biggin Hill itself? Well, when Odette used to teach at Biggin Hill Junior School, I remember only too well being a parent helper. Uh, I think, I can't remember which class it was, but the kids from Biggin Hill coming to see the Memorial Chapel, St. George's, and, and be, you know, if I remember rightly, the junior school had a brown, uh, not very good color, but a brown sweatshirt with a spitfire on it, uh, very eloquent. But you know, spitfire, Biggin Hill, area of Biggin Hill, <coughs> the Battle of Britain synonymous uh, with this wonderful town. The figure that absolutely staggered me, though, was not just the Battle of Britain, but 435 um, air crew lost flying from here throughout, throughout that conflict. And I'm conscious that, um, you know, activity going on behind me, and there's a lot of uh, guys standing out there while I'm waffling on, so I'll try and bring it to a close. Um, Battle of Britain is so much synonymous with the Royal Air Force, and I'd like everyone, everyone here, certainly the young cadets, and certainly all the residents of Biggin Hill, to remember that uh, the Royal Air Force has never forgotten. Uh, how important this station was to our history. Um, some of the bomber guys might just think that the dam bust is, is important, and it is, uh, but the Battle of Britain is, is what really made the spirit of the Royal Air Force what it was then and what it is today. Uh, but if I may, I'd like to end on the words. I'm going to borrow the words of, uh, of a famous local that I think used to live at Chartwell, a uh, local Westrum guy, and what did he say? Ne never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many uh, to so few, or something like that. I hope I didn't monster it too much, Winston, if you're listening up there. Thank you. <laughs>